Kate Middleton stands with Take Action on Addiction and from being an addict to head of global operations at Uber. What's her story? Keep watching to find out. We'd like to take a few seconds to bring focus to the tens of thousands of Americans who suffer from the disease of addiction. Try to remember that their recovery from this disease is a lifelong battle. With that in mind, this next song goes out to our daughter Caroline. I will scream loud tonight. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. Hey guys, it's Nikki, and we're back with our top five news stories. For the past five years, the Kurtz family has set up thousands of Christmas lights on their house, syncing the display to music, but this year made a special by dedicating it to their daughter, who is currently in recovery from heroin abuse. We provided the link to the full video below, or if you live in Bel Air, Maryland, you can stop by any night from now until the 31st to see it live. If that doesn't warm your heart for the holiday season, we don't know what will. I mean, really, baby Grinch much? And now, news from across the pond, Kate Middleton, a patron for Action on Addiction, a charity center for addiction studies, made a visit there to join the trained workforce in the battle against addiction. She learned about their training, met with tutors, and congratulated recent graduates on completing their addiction counseling degrees. She said at her last charity, quote, I was reminded today how addictions lie at the heart of so many social issues and how substance misuse can play such destructive roles in vulnerable people's lives, end quote. I feel fortunate to have met a wide range of inspirational people who have overcome addiction. It is so encouraging to see that with the right help, like that on, action on, on, on addiction, it can be conquered. Uber exec Austin Guide spoke publicly for the first time about her addiction at Fortune's most powerful women next generation talk. At just 19, she had a drug problem and took time off from college to reach her recovery and came back finishing her degree sober at 25. Now at 30, she's one of the companies which is worth 62.5 billion most powerful executives. Even though she's accomplished so much professionally, life after addiction, Guide says she's much more proud of her 10-year sobriety. And girl, we are too. I'm so proud of the work my, my team has done at Uber and of the work I've done at Uber, but it's not the proudest thing I've done, right? I'm, I'm more proud of being sober, and I'm, I'm, I just have perspective of like, this is an incredible, I'm so fortunate to be a part of this, and it's been so cool. It's, you know, but being sober and, and you know, being able to share that with my family and, and whatnot is, means a whole lot more. Want to witness a Christmas miracle? A selfie video shows a pizza delivery driver was overwhelmed with a surprise $700 tip from members of an Ohio church. He's been fighting to overcome his addiction and now a California rehabilitation center has offered him treatment for free. The video of his emotional reaction really puts a spirit of you never know who you could be helping when you pay it forward. Struggling to stay clean and everything and I'm just trying to get my life back and it just really truly just amazes me that people that don't even know me just wanted to help me out that much. An Oakland company working with scientists at UC Berkeley had a breakthrough in developing a breathalyzer for roadside marijuana use. The new product is said to be able to measure the THC levels, which is a psychoactive component in cannabis within one or two blows. The company hopes to have the product ready by the end of next year, and we hope this will help prevent freak accidents from occurring. Ten. All right. All right, well, you got a pretty good balance. Thank there. you. Uh, I want you to step, bump, step, bump, bump, step, bump, step, bump, bump, five, six, seven, eight. And remember, if you or a loved one has a substance abuse problem, reach out to the Discovery House today. And as promised, we rounded up our top five news stories of the week. Let us know which topic was your favorite in the comment section below. 
and please remember to share and like this video. You know we love it when you do. Tune in next week for the trending topics of the moment. This is Nikki reporting for the Discovery House News where you can discover your recovery. Thanks for watching.